What is good, y'all, man? We made it to DC, man. I'd say it was a long ass flight, but it wasn't really that bad. It was like five hours. Yeah, I'm mad tired, though, bro. Like, I'm so tired. So I landed in DC and I linked up with my mom and stuff. Um, I pulled up on her as soon as I left the airport and was with her for a while. The crazy thing is, though, the thing that just blew me, I'm not gonna lie, this just blew me. I ended up booking my Airbnb for yesterday until when I'm about to leave. And I didn't notice that. I thought that my Airbnb was booked for today until it's time for me to leave. So I messaged the Airbnb host and I was like, hey, um, is it cool if I check in earlier than the time that I'm supposed to check in? And they messaged me back and was like, oh, you was able to check in yesterday. That's the time that you booked. So I just found out that I paid for a day that I wasn't even here for. I wish I had at least known that. Like, I wish I would have like, I, I didn't even know that. I thought that I booked today all the way until it's time for me to leave. So he just got free money for one of them days. I didn't even know that. So it was nobody in this joint and I paid for it. I paid for it. And I was sitting around waiting to check into my Airbnb because it said that you couldn't check in until after 4 p.m. So I'm sitting around, like I'm sitting with my mother. I was telling her, I was like, yeah, I can't check into my BNB until after 4. So like I'm just sitting cooling and shit like that. And then I messaged him and he like, you could, you was able to check in yesterday. You could go in whenever you want to. And I was just sitting around this whole time for no reason. No fucking reason. The good thing is I'm here. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm in the BNB. I haven't been back in DC in a minute, y'all. I, I haven't been here in a while. Like, really haven't been here in a minute. Like I said, my mom was living in uh, Tennessee at one point. Like, I originally like grew up in Washington, DC. Like, this is where I'm from, if y'all didn't know. I know a lot of y'all be talking about like my accent and shit. And y'all be saying, like, you from the DMV? Like, where you from? Because I can hear it. I'm from Washington, D.C. I was actually born in Florida, but like I was a like I was barely able to open my eyes when I moved to Washington, D.C. I was only in Florida for like a few months before um, my mom just up and moved to D.C. So I'm really from D.C. because this is like literally where I was raised at. You know what I'm saying I lived in like uh, Richmond, Virginia at one point for a little bit as a child. Um, and I lived in Maryland a little bit, but like I lived in DC. Like this is literally where like I was raised. Like all my friends that I had grew up and went to school with, like played sports here, all that stuff, bro. Like everything. Like me just driving through the streets while I was in an Uber and shit. I'm just looking at places. I'm like, damn, I remember all this stuff growing up, son. Like I really haven't been back to DC in a minute. Like, like it's been a while. Like if my mom had lived here, I would have been came back, you know what I'm saying? But she was in Tennessee, so I had went to Tennessee, but I'm back in D.C., man. It's crazy to be back here. It really is crazy to be back here. I'm going uh, to show y'all the uh, the BNB that I'm in. Let me show y'all the BNB. But yeah, it feel crazy that I'm in here. I'm going to start from the beginning, like when I first walk in, for real. So when you walk through, uh, it's just like a hallway, and it has like, it's not zoomed in, is it? All right, cool. It has like a closet where it's like... You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy in there. What's this? I don't know. This is a washer and dryer in this joint. And it's a two bedroom. So here is one of the bedrooms. Walk in here. This is the bathroom. Cool little bathroom, you know what I mean? And then this is the bedroom. You know? Cool little bedroom. Lights and shit. And then it's a little closet. And then over to the next bedroom. They got like a different bathroom. Here go the closet, whatever. This has like a stand up like shower, bathroom, toilet. You know what I'm saying? Mirror. And then this is the bedroom. This one has a TV in it. You know what I'm saying? Cool little, you know what I mean? And then this is. The living room area, you know what I'm saying? Cool TV, couch, little thing to thing. Then it's the kitchen, stove, all that there. It's definitely different from being in LA, bro. It's like super cold out here. Like, I don't know. Can y'all see that? I can see my breath out here, bro. Like, it's that cold. I'm hungry as shit right now, so I'm probably, I need to take a shower and like get myself, like I just need to get myself together right now, but like, I'm jet lagged. I got like two, three hours of sleep, that's it. 
I'm just like, I just had to come and get myself situated, bro. I'm mad. Hold on, it's loud as shit. I'm trying to act like I'm not mad, bro, but I'm low key mad that I paid for a day that I wasn't here or something. Like. I'm in DC. I ain't gonna hold you, bruh. It's cold as shit out this joint. I was about to go get something to eat from somewhere, but I just seen a curry out, and I think it's only right I go to the curry out, but I ain't been to the curry out in a minute. Y'all can't eat, see that shit. Y'all see it? I'm trying to see what they talking about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, y'all, I was gonna get something from like a restaurant or something, but I had to hit the curry out, bro. It ain't no curry out in uh in LA. I got four piece wing with fries, mambo sauce on everything. That's like that's like the go to. You know what I'm saying? You got to. Let y'all see what your boy got, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all see this in first person, you dig? I almost left without my half and half, man. That's half lemonade, half sweet tea. I'm telling you. The boy is on. I don't think y'all understand what this doing to me right now, y'all. I used to dead ass. After school, football practice, basketball practice, anything, bro, I used to straight go to the curry y'all and get mambo sauce on everything. Sometimes I don't even get chicken wings. I just get fries because I only had like $5. So I only had like, yeah, I only had like $5. And I just go get some fries on mambo sauce. It'd be like $2, like $2.50 or something. And just have like a styrofoam square container, crack that joint open, eat it with the fork like I'm doing right now. This shit bringing back memories. I'm about to start crying. I was literally about to go get something totally different, bro. And I walked to the CVS and I saw, saw the curry out. I said, oh, nah, I have to get this. First day back. First day back so much. It was only right, bro. Bro, this is so good. <laughs> and I know y'all probably saying to yourself, bro, it's just chicken wings, bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It ain't just chicken wings. This is a if you know, you know thing, bro. I can't even lie to you. This over any fancy restaurant. I'm telling you. Any fr any fancy restaurant, bro. This over there any day. It's literally like my fucking teenage childhood. Oh. Mm. Nah, I'm trying. I'm holding back tears right now. I ain't gonna lie. Now that my mother back in the city, I'm gonna be coming back here a little more often, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Who, who that follow me? Who from the DMV or who specifically from DC? I want to know. And maybe it's somebody that can like and know exactly what I'm feeling right now. Maybe somebody there that know exactly what this feel like right now. I needed that, bro. <laughs> like everything in my childhood just like was flashing before my eyes as I was taking every single bite, bro. Like them walks to school, them walks from school, the standing at the bus, waiting for the bus to take me home after school, after practice. Standing in the line outside the shoe stores when shoes about to come out, when the Jordans was coming out, the phone pauses out there with my friends, cold as shit, hopping on the train to go sell shoes, trade shoes from Facebook Marketplace because they got some Jeremy Scotts that I want and I got some Jordan Olympic Sixes that I don't want no more. So I'm just getting on the train, meeting them and trading shoes, taking the train to PG Mall on the weekends to go get smoothies and Talk to girls. I don't think y'all understand. I like really grew up here, bruh. I used to be in the car with my mother all the time driving down this street, bruh. All the time. 
I miss it here, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Would I move back here, though? I don't know. Fuck it. I'm about to see how much this apartment costs, bro. Because I got my b and in there like a... This an apartment building. I'm about to see how much this shit costs. Let me see how much this co these apartments cost. For one bedroom, this joint, 2500 for one bedroom, this twenty five hundred, man. I might just go ahead and do that, man. I might just, I might just move back to DC. Fuck it, bro. We moving back to DC, man. Fuck it.